Dave Cody, Goldman Sachs. I love this story. This is a great story, actually. It's like it, Wall Street beat, like, writ large. I love it. Well, it, it also, Dave Cody really did make a name for himself on yeah. doing a lot of acquisitions of little companies that other people had overlooked and really folding into what he did and really built Honeywell up from when it was really not in great shape. All right, and you know him. Yeah. And, and, and can we just say, this is a CEO's dream job, right? Like, totally. he does a good job, he or she does a good job, they, they retire, you know, they, they leave their position, yeah. and Goldman Sachs calls you up and like, you know that stuff you used to do? Yeah. Just come do it for us. Give you, you know, an office, all the money you want, essentially, we're gonna raise money for you, and just go out and do some deals. You're 600 mil. 600 million dollars, and yeah. he's gonna do deals for between 1 billion and 5 billion. But at the same time, it's interesting, he's a little bit like Warren Buffett. He's not looking to take him over and like right. a private equity guy and yes. just replace the management, run the whole thing. He's saying, no, I'm looking like family companies where we wanna keep people on, people wanna keep managing it, and keep them in. Well, and I'm glad you mentioned private equity because this is a private equity-ish model, yes. Yes. right? I mean, we've there the path is well-trod from the C-suite to a lot of big private equity firms, Clayton DeBillier and Rice CDNR is notable for that. Jack Welch, of course, went over there. There's been a whole series of people, A.G. Laffley, before he went yeah. back to P&G, went to CDNR. Carlisle has done this. Um, so seeing Goldman get into this business is really well, fascinating. And specifically looking at industrial, yes. which Dave knows, and he's saying they're actually underpriced right now because they're not favored in the marketplace. Well, I was going to say, too, how can he compete with PE? So, like, what are the advantages and disadvantages uh, that he might have? Because there's so much money One raised in this space. Is, I'm not going to fire this I think, I think it's the long term. I think it's yeah. the long term piece. And I also think it's this credibility factor of the combination of Cody and Goldman. You know, they are, again, backing him with all the assets, literally and figuratively, that come with Goldman and the deal making expertise. Yeah. Obviously, you get that in a private equity firm, but the global reach of Goldman, being able to tap into all of those relationships to, uh, to get the deals done. Now, the one tricky thing is he does have a non compete. Yes, um, that's right. 2023. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, so, and apparently he has to basically get a letter from yeah. Honeywell anytime he's going right. up on something that runs into their business.